G'day guys, my name's Chris. This is IRI Taz, and this is the VL250 Bobber build. I'm loving how it looks. I'm loving the hardtail struts dropping the rear end, but I'm not loving the stock handlebars. They're too wide for the height that they are. I want this bike to look more narrow and stretched out. Um, so they have to go. What I've bought is some um, 10 inch Mini 8 handlebars, and we'll probably knock a centimetre or two off the end just to sort of narrow them further if we can. Uh, they're 22 mil, 10 inch tall, they're gonna look great. And I think we're gonna lean them forward a little bit too to just change the look of the stance. I've also got some retro style grips. Uh, I've used these before on a couple of builds. They're great. They last a long time. I got them from thirdgear.com.au and they arrived uh, within about two days, which is great service. And I've always had great service from uh, thirdgear.com.au. Because um, just before we get into this and we change these bars over, just like to thank my sponsors, chopthebob.com.au. Go to their website, check out their awesome merch, support an Australian business, and make sure you use iRideTaz10 on checkout to let them know that you came from my channel to their business so that they can continue to support the build. Guys, um, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, I've done this a few times now on various bikes and I have myself a piece of rubberized marine carpet that I use to protect the tank. So we'll just put that there. Uh, this just protects the tank from dropping anything, uh, from the bars falling forward believe me uh it's worth its weight in gold i lined out the boot of the mini and i had some of this spare so now i use it for this job but you can use a blanket if you need to just anything to prevent paint chips and slight dents and dings on the tank from doing this job guys you'll need a small blade screwdriver to prise these out of the bolts. They're gonna be a six mil, but normally I take the controls off first. This bike has screw-in bar end mirrors, so get quite a large Phillips head. <laughs> that one was quite loose. And we can ditch them because I'm not putting them back on. And yeah, large Phillips head. The easiest way I've found to get the grips off is to just cut them. Uh, if you want to recycle them, it's a long drawn out process to wrestle them off. So it's just easier to cut them uh, because no doubt from the factory they've been glued on. It's not very difficult to cut them. Just oh. go in the bin and then yeah, again, just score along. They'll cut off pretty easily.
and that could go in our bin. We want a eight millimeter and our ratchet handle. We just want a medium sized Phillips head. And there's two, one on each side of the switch gear. And loosen them. So again, an eight mil on a ratchet handle. Ooh, they were loose. Phillips head. And Allen key. Crack them. Just going to tight these out completely. Right there is exactly why you put the carpet down or the blanket on the tank. So I just put the bolts back in the riser clamp or the handlebar clamp. It's got a dot that goes forward. <coughs> Again, you can see exactly why you put the blanket down or the carpet in this case down because just that alone would be enough to put a minor dent or scratch in your tank. Okay. Just put them aside, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Uh, you can see the dot that goes towards the front wheel. Work them off. Someone's tried to glue them on with contact cement by the look of it, which is not ideal, but we're winning. This is my caramel wheel. It's in my drill. And we're just gonna use it to remove the sticker. And then some orange power to <coughs> some orange power just to remove the glue residue. That sticker was amazingly stuck on. Guys, on stock bars you'll have locating pins. That's a legal requirement to stop your brake and throttle from spinning. On Aftermarket bars, you usually don't have them because each bike is different. Uh, bottom line is that you've got two options. You can drill your holes for your locating pins or you could grind your locating pins off, which someone's actually done that previously. So I won't have to drill them, uh, which is sort of handy to be honest. Make sure they're round the right way. That. 
slides in there. Automatically, you can see we won't have the room to cut. So we're just gonna have to go with the stock width. putting the risers back on loosely so that we can start positioning the bars. So remember where you put them and your dot goes towards the front wheel. Just loosely wind them in. bars up we're just going to remove this wire bracket it's a 10 mil that'll just allow the bars to move up and down a little bit ah uh, sorry that'll just allow the cables to move around a little bit just feed the cables out of it That's about the angle I want there. So we'll just tighten that up. Make sure the bars are centered too. What we might do guys is put the grips on uh, you've got a narrow one and a wider one narrow one is for the clutch the wider one is for the throttle side so we'll just put this aside for the moment and we'll use the tight we're back with the 8 mil on the extension just going to tighten up the clamps here there's a wire guide here we're just very carefully gonna cut to give this just a little bit more travel Yeah, 
that. Perfect. Let's use the eight mil again. Got our Phillips head. Lock that down, that throttle snaps back. It's got the, the Coke bottle grip. some lubrication. <laughs> That's the bike there guys. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The taller bars really do give it the look that I'm after. I've never had bars that are proportionately this tall in comparison to the bike but they're nice and narrow. Uh, yeah, looks really cool. I'm really happy with it. Um, all the electrics work. Front indicator, rear indicator, front indicator, rear indicator. Yeah, brake lights work. Flash to pass works, high beam, low beam. Now the important one. starts and it now looks with the handlebars as mean as it sounds because I couldn't be more stoked with that I think it looks amazing I uh, hope you enjoyed the video the next one will be on Tuesday at 3 30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time in between go to choptonbob.com.au check out some awesome merchandise and please make sure you use iRide Taz 10 on checkout It'll save you a little bit of money, but it'll also show those guys that you've come from this channel and it'll support both organisations. Because uh, till I see you next time, I'm out.